Greetings and welcome back to the world. So, we're continuing with this shipwrecked scenario. And we have a few problems. One of them is that we don't have any food. So, I'm guessing that a lot of the food that we normally spawn with was destroyed by some fires. So, I guess I was even lucky to get a few of these survival ration things. So, yeah. So, how do we get food? We can gather a bunch of uh, berries from these bushes. But M seems to want to <laughs> cut uh, trees first, so... Let's prioritize these berry bushes. Also, I'm gonna make Tatiana do plant cutting as well. And I'm actually going to uh, remove a bunch of these orders so that they don't actually spend too much time cutting uh, well okay so that they don't spend too much really I just assigned them okay there we go uh, what was I saying so that they don't spend too much time cutting trees and that they spend a bit more time harvesting these berries because food is a little bit more important than uh, some wood logs so yes let's continue all right harvest that one as well now you can harvest this guy well Hopefully Big Red gets a bit of food, so that he can uh, get out of his, <laughs> his bad situation. And that he... Yes, yes, he's leaving the colony yet again. No, you aren't. Alright, let's put it back to double speed. So do we have a bit of berries now? We should have. Okay, and let's put this back to release. Oh crap. He went nuts. Okay, so Big Red, what are your stats? You're not that great at melee. Neither are you. So who's good at melee? Lucia is. So is M, I guess we could send in Lucia to go beat him up. <laughs> and let's get Aquarius to step out of the building. Alright. Now, did I say Aquarius? <laughs> Meant to say Aquari... Aquarius? There. Okay, go uh, beat him up as well. Really? Did he... Oh no, this is big red. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's capture him. Alright, now we're gonna need a bunch of new sleeping spots, I suppose, since that has become the prison. Unfortunately, the wood grill is also in the prison. But yeah, anyway. Let's put down a few sleeping spots right here. About four should do. Now. Uh, they are still chopping. The trees. Hopefully they get to harvest these berries first. Well soon anyway. But meanwhile. Maybe you can. Make this butcher stable now. Then we should be able to butcher this thing. And get some food. Lucia should uh, do something, I suppose. So, is she starving? No, not anymore. And now Tatiana has a severe illness. I wonder... Oh, an infection. Yes, that's not good either. So, yeah, the start is actually quite difficult, I must say. Even though I start with a few extra colonists. 
it doesn't actually make it easier because well more colonists means more food and i don't have any food at all at this time i really need someone to grow as well who can do growing i am good but i need to do some plant cutting now so let's get aquarius to do some growing And they all have starvation issues, yes. If they would be smart, they wouldn't have any starvation issues. <laughs> so I'm guessing a few people might die soon enough from starvation. They're actually, it's not that bad. Oh, and let's allow Big Red to be recruited and a friendly chat. All right, because I don't think he'll be joining us again anymore. Not after his uh, crazy thing. Now, Aquarius seems to be planting. That's good. And we need this thing to be built. Let's do that first, if we can. That way we'll be able to uh, chop up this muffalo. And meanwhile, let's allow for some grilled food. Who's going crazy now? Lucia. No food, I suppose. He is urgently hungry. Well, we should have some berries soon enough. Let's make sure that we can... Oh, great. A local boar. All right. So how do we kill this thing? Tatiana should... Oh, she doesn't have a weapon. Actually, are there any weapons at all here? We did find an end field, but... Other than that, I don't think we have any. I'm not seeing any anyway. Not even a knife. I guess it all burned. That's not good. Uh, maybe these two guys can kill the boar. <laughs> let's see what happens. He's a... Uh... Okay, let's trap Tatiana and get her out of the way. Now this guy could attack it. Come on. Attack the two chasing you. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Alright. No problem. Now with some luck they shoot each other. <laughs> no? Okay. So now we need this butchered. Do this forever. Alright. And Big Red has died. Okay, well, no uh, surprise there. But at least we are able to set this for colonists again. And we gotta get rid of Big Red's body. And we have low food. Yes, I know, I know. Who's breaking now? Lucia. And what's her problem? Just a bit of everything, I suppose. And... Well, okay, Tatiana's gonna lie on the sleeping spot with a dead person. Yeah, that's the world for you. Let's strip Big Red and we need to make a grave. Let's put one over there. Now Aquarist could perhaps build it. Now we can get rid of the body. All right. So yeah, things are going rather slow, actually. Now we need more food. So who's gonna butcher that thing? What's Aquarius doing? Hauling some things, perhaps? Let's uh, 
get that thing butchered. That should give us a lot of meat and a lot of food. There we go. That's at least uh, around, I don't know, 12 meals. And we got this boar here as well. Let's actually kill this thing. That way we can chop it up as well. Luckily no one is having any mental issues at the moment. So that's good. Now let's bring this thing back. Alright. And chop it up. Where are you going to eat that raw? <laughs> that wouldn't be very good. Yes, he is. Uh, make a meal first, then eat it. That's better. Now, M. Okay, you can't cook. She's going to eat the raw meat. That's not good. Let's draft you quickly. Let's wait for Aquarius to be done. And then you should be able to make another meal. And now M is going to eat the raw meat. <laughs> We have the whole raw meat thing again. Alright, now hopefully she takes the grilled food. Now hopefully M gets the grilled food. And how do we call the... The colony? Ludion. Well, yeah, I suppose. I've always been keeping the... Uh, the random names, so sure, why not? Let's call it Ludion. I guess everyone had some food now, that's good. Alright, so we might actually make it. And let's make sure that we harvest a little more things. If we can. Alright, there's a few bushes there. That's nice. Okay, that should do for now. Meanwhile, these things should be growing. A little slow, perhaps, but it'll work. That is, if we don't get a blight. <laughs> With my luck, yeah. So, Lucia isn't doing anything yet again. Because, well, she can't do all that much. Doctoring, wardening. That's pretty much it. Well, I suppose we can keep one as medical since we only have four people left. There we go. Now let's get rid of these sleeping spots because I don't want them to just go sleep outside. Now somehow someone needs to do some constructing. So let's see. Uh, she does cooking, so let's do some constructing afterwards. Actually, Lucia, you're a hunter anyway, so uh, hunt this thing. Because we need food. Alright, that's one dead guy. I suppose we can get Aquaris to butcher that thing. That'll give us even more meat. Oh no, you aren't. Go somewhere else. <laughs> okay. Wow. So we have a bit of food and yes, this is growing slowly. Actually, I haven't even watched where all the geysers are, so we got one here. It's pretty far away. Got one here as well. I don't actually see any close by. Unless I'm 
missing it. Nope. That probably means that we won't be going for any geothermal power anytime soon. So I might actually have to go for wind power, but... Yeah, we could actually do it because we have a, a whole lot of titanium here. So we could build some sort of titanium uh, windmill. That could work. And we got some research now. Uh, so, what do we research? Hmm. Well, I'm kind of tempted to get first aid because we don't have any medical supplies at all. But yeah, in the end, it's all pretty important. Well, at least uh, either smitting or first aid. I guess first aid might be useful for now. And M is gonna go research. Right, and we actually need a lot more growing stuff. We need a bunch of cotton. All right. What else do we need? More cargo pods. And food. Wow. That'll come in handy, but it's uh, very far away. Very far away. But at least I guess someone could... Uh, <clears throat> Go at least get one stack of it. And we do have a bit of food now, which is great. But it's gonna spoil, so... And I don't have any preservation at this time. But I guess we might actually... Yeah, it won't spoil that fast. And meanwhile, this stuff will get eaten and... We should be fine. Hopefully. So, what do we need meanwhile? I don't think we need any plant basins because we don't really need to plant inside. We still have many, many months of good weather. So, that shouldn't be a problem. So Lucia again has nothing to do and I don't really want to kill too many animals at this time because, well, as I said, this will spoil anyway. I could of course build a preserving table and salt some meat. I could actually do that. There's a few, uh, there's a bit of salt here. But we're gonna need salt anyway, eventually. So hopefully after Aquarist is done with this, he can go mining let's see so yeah he should be mining this afterwards so that's good so let's meanwhile build a preserving table somewhere yeah sure let's do it here We actually have a bunch of berries here as well. That's good. No wonder. I'm guessing everyone should have at least some uh, clothes. So yes. Oh. Okay. Seems like uh, Lucia doesn't have any pants. Well, uh, let's give you some I suppose. I do have to wonder, how did she lose her pants during a crash? <laughs> That's weird. So yeah, let's actually go ahead a little more. Because we're gonna be salting that meat anyway, soon. Oh, okay. Uh, no, not that one. Please don't hit anyone. I can see it happening. <laughs> Alright. 
right, and let's assign some salted meat. Let's start off with five times. Now he is gonna go get some salt, that's good. I actually need to... What do we got now? Okay, an eclipse, that's not a problem. And I need to make a small zone here. For salt. If I can remember where it is. Yeah, here we go. And let's put it to important priority. That way someone will at least be hauling salt here. Right next to the table. So that's good. And we got a bit here. Let's try and mine some more. We'll need some eventually, anyway, for a salt water battery. Although research is going very slow. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of to be expected because, well, this person isn't exactly all that bright. This food is gonna spoil any time now, so that's not good. Half a day. Hmm, maybe I should build a table somewhere. That might be an ID. But I'll probably be turning this into some sort of dining area, I suppose. Once they get their own rooms. But they will be constantly Annoying me about the fact that they have to eat from the ground, so I guess I kind of have to make a table somewhere. Let's put it here for now. I don't exactly have a lot of things to put in this building for now anyway. Alright, there we go. Now, if only she would prioritize this uh, bad meat. So we have some salted meat here. It doesn't exactly look the, like the most tasty thing. And as I said many times before, I'm no artist, so yeah. But I hope it's kind of obvious what it is. Okay, wait, wait. Let's disallow these. And hopefully, she takes the bad meat first. Well, where are you going? Oh, really? One by one. Okay, uh, aquarist. Hold back some salt. Okay, so this is gonna... Yes, this is rotting. That's not good. But well, anyway. We should have plenty. And this is rotting as well. Wow, great. So yeah, that's why I don't want to hand too much. Even though it's pretty much the only thing Lucia can do. Seeing as we are lacking either uh, patients or prisoners. I must say there's a lot of animals around, which is good, I suppose. At least that means we won't be running out of food anytime soon, now that we have everything set up here. And the harvests are starting to come in, so I'm gonna try and plant a little more of things. Some potatoes, right? And all this is rotting now, unfortunately. But we should have enough uh, berries now to last us quite a while. Well, for now, anyway. It seems like this has all been gathered up already. Let's see if we can actually 
harvest some more? Yes, we can. Okay, that's good. And someone should really be building the stable first. <laughs> there we go. Now they can't complain about that anymore. But I'm sure they'll find something to complain about eventually. They always complain. So, what's the next plan? Now that we got some food coming in, I got to... I guess we can start deconstructing the rest of this. We'll be needing the resources to try and build out some more of our base. Alright, and now deconstruct it all. Now, let's perhaps see where we can build some houses. Uh, these, yeah, these things are a bit in the way, I think. But I suppose I can start off over here, perhaps. Wait, that's, uh, that's four. Well, it'll have to do. Yeah, screw it. I'm just gonna go over this zone. It doesn't matter that much. Let's build four in a row. That seems fine. And let's build some doors. Alright. And yeah, okay. Somehow... I was wondering when this would happen. So at least now Lucia has something to do. Shoot the pirate. And that at least means we will also be getting a new weapon. A pistol for someone. So, Lucia. You're drafted. And now go stand somewhere where you <laughs> can shoot him. Where is he? Ah, oh, crap. The wrong way. Where is he? Let's see who wins. Oh, yeah. Somehow I knew. Ugh, oh, idiots. <laughs> Okay, so this could take a while, I suppose. Um, let's go mine a little more. Because that'll keep him busy, at least. Oh, go away, pop-ups. Okay, now let's send him to mine a little. Well, right, there we go. No, you moron. Ugh. Why? <laughs> okay. Aquarists. Uh, mining first. Dear goodness, what are you doing? Firefighting, I suppose. Yeah, now we got shot, of course. It's your, uh, it's your own damn problem. Alright, so this is taking a while. I don't think anyone has hit anyone yet. Let's try and flank him. That might work better. Hurry up. Okay, that worked. And now they're in melee. Alright, so let's get you to melee attack as well. Actually, let's just pile up. Where's the... Alright, M. Alright, great. Now, who gets the new pistol? I guess M can get the new pistol. And now we got this guy, who actually has some great stats, but we don't have any place to put him at this time. So, what do we do with this? 
we gotta try and build at least one of these rooms so that we can make a prison out of it oh dear and it seems like i've been going on for quite a while in this episode so <laughs> i'll be wrapping it up right here so yeah uh hopefully you enjoyed it thank you for watching and see you next time